Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today I'm gonna have you guys get to know me. We're gonna do a Q&A session. You guys have already sent me your questions, and today I'm going to answer them. So today I decided to wear my Kermit shirt because I'm gonna be answering all these questions and it really ain't none of your business. But I'm gonna answer them all anyways. All right, let's get started. I have my laptop here and my phone. I'm gonna be reading questions from YouTube and Instagram. So let's get started. Where do you live? Well, my address is, <laughs> just kidding, let's not create stalkers now. But I do live in sunny California and I live in the valley, which is not too far from Hollywood. Did you go to college and what was your major? Yes, I am a college graduate. I went to Cal State Northridge and I majored in cinema and television arts with an emphasis in multimedia production. Now, as much as I'd love to give all my coding, editing, final cut Photoshop skills to my college, um, I kind of learned coding and Photoshop because of MySpace. My layouts were on fleek. You don't even know. I had little things fall on my music, matched my theme, I had slideshows, like it was just popping on my page. What is your favorite movie? Okay, my favorite movie is not like a typical movie that everyone else loves. Honestly, I don't think anyone else even likes this movie, but I love The Cat in the Hat, like the newer one with, who's in that movie? Cat in the Hat actor. Mike Myers, that guy. He dresses up as a cat. I don't know, the first time I watched it in theaters, I didn't even like it, and then I watched it again, and I was dying laughing. Watch it again, trust me. But if it's not Cat in the Hat, I also love Good Burger with Keenan and Kel. I know they're random, but I love them. Don't judge me. Okay, next question. Oh, speaking of Good Burger. Are you related to Simbad? Okay, let's just get this all out there. If you guys watched my Bahama video, you might have seen a little, you know, star-studded cameo, which was Simbad. Now, Simbad is an actor and comedian, and he was in Good Burger. Now, here's a little fun fact for you guys. Simbad is going to be my father-in-law because I am marrying his son, Royce. Now, the funniest part about this is, since Good Burger is one of my favorite movies, I watched Good Burger in the 90s, and I'm watching this movie, and little did little Bianca know that she was watching a guy that was going to create her future husband. Like, what? Boo! Mind blow. All right, since we're talking about the wedding, let's just do a couple more wedding questions. When are you getting married? I'm getting married next summer. Not gonna give you the date or where because that's how I get wedding crashers, okay? How long have you and your fiance been together? This week actually will be four years, which is the exact time I actually wanted to be with someone before I got married. Do you guys want to have kids? And if so, when and how many? We do want to have kids. The ideal plan is to wait two years so we can enjoy ourselves and our marriage before we commit our lives to another living being. But our parents and grandparents are asking for these kids like now, so I don't know how long we're gonna be allowed to wait, but we'll see. How many? I think I want an even number. So either two, four, or six. But if I have six, I'll be pregnant for like six years. I don't know, maybe four. We'll see. How tall are you? I am 5'8". What are your favorite foods? Okay, I have two favorite foods. One is filet mignon, and the second is tamales, which is pretty funny because tamales cost like a dollar and filet mignon is like $50, so. How old are you? How old do you think? And I'm wearing a Kermit shirt. Can't be that old, right? Or is it aging me because Muppets are old? I am 26. What is your occupation? As much as I'd love to make YouTube my full-time gig like the other huge YouTubers in the world, we're still getting there, but until I hit a million subscribers, I have a couple little side gigs. So one of my side jobs is being a promo model. So you guys have might have seen me at certain events and I'm like passing out free stuff, pretty much doing marketing for a bunch of different companies. And my second job, which is something that I actually love doing more, it's actually event planning. So I also 
am a wedding planner and a party planner. So if you guys have a wedding coming up or a party, you know, call me. But no, seriously, you, you really could call me for that. Do you have any siblings and who is your favorite? Dang, trying to get me in trouble. I love them both equally. I have a younger sister and a younger brother. My sister is 23 and my brother is 19. Okay, now let's answer some questions from Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, go follow me right now at Ms. Bianca Renee. Ooh, if you had to choose one hair product to take with you on a deserted island, what would it be? That would definitely have to be the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Still the holy grail. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red, although I don't really own a lot of red, actually. How did you meet your fiance? Ooh, this is my favorite story to tell. Okay, story time, gather round. Come on, gather round. Okay, so what happened was, fine, you're tired of the story. So I was working as a promo model at E3, which is a big gaming convention, and I'm literally just standing by the game asking people if they want to play the new game. Like, come try the game, la da da. So I see this very attractive man walking towards me and he was actually there to record the booth for G4 TV. So we talked for maybe like four minutes, max. Never saw him again, never exchanged numbers. That was that. Cupid missed that arrow. Three months go by and I go to church with my family. My dad always drops us off the whole family goes inside while my dad parks the car. So my dad's walking in now with this whole family, including Sinbad. So now Sinbad's there with his whole family. He invites them to sit next to us. And turns out that my now fiance Royce, he sits right next to me. And the whole time I'm like, this guy looks really familiar. Where do I know him from? And then it clicked. He was the guy from E3. And the rest is history. So literally, we met once, nothing happened, God gave him a second chance because he didn't get my number, and then he literally brought him to me and sat him right next to me in church. Heaven sent. It was great. What is your favorite TV show? Ooh, I would say Empire. This season's not as good as the first season, but it's getting there. You know, we got it. I'm not going to say anything in case you guys haven't caught up but probably The Walking Dead. I didn't think I was gonna like that show because of all the guts and the blood and the gore, but the storyline like got me hooked and I usually have my jaw dropped after like every episode. Can you put your hair up in a bun at this length? Barely! Oh wait, hold up, hold up. <gasps> oh no, I thought I got them all up in a bun. There's still like some little baby hairs that just don't wanna reach the top. I probably could do a low bun, but Hi bun. There's still some stragglers in the back, but I could fake it. What is your favorite type of music? Oh, my favorite type of music is definitely R&B, hip hop, a little bit of ratchet. Pretty much I love DJ Mustard, so anything that he's produced with his little three notes is my jam. But my favorite artist right now is Kehlani. Love all of Kehlani's songs. Um, favorite new artist is Devon Terrell, as you guys know. Love all his music, check him out. Currently love the internet. Um, Etta Bond, more known artists would be like Chris Brown, Rihanna, and didn't mean to say those in that order, Beyonce, you know, the mains. And classic wise, huge Janet Jackson fan. Okay, next question. What? Okay, my bear is just chilling. Can you sit up, sir? There we go. Have you ever broken any bones? Yes. I broke my wrist from swinging on a swing set and then the strap just broke and I landed on my wrist and that broke. And more excitingly, I was run over by a car. I was about five years old. I was crossing the street because I was really tired. I looked both ways, but it was pitch black. So here comes this car with its lights off and here's little Bianca in the street and boom, ran over my leg. My parents said when they picked me up, there was literally a big U dip shape in my leg and it was broken, but I was able to walk again. So I'm lucky to one, to be alive and two, to walk and dance and just live my life normally. Do you have any pets? Yes, 
I have two dogs. One's an Australian Shepherd named Lucy, and I have a German Shepherd slash Akita mix named Yogi. Here comes Yogi. Come here. Yogi, treat. Yogi. Oh, here he is. <laughs> Hold on. Sit. Sit. Oh, right on me. <laughs> oh. Where are my pets? Oh, that was a lot of questions to answer, but I had a really fun time doing it. So thank you to everyone that sent me a question either on YouTube or on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, make sure you do that at Ms. Bianca Renee. And I do post new videos every Sunday. I have some fun things coming up for you guys. So make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.